I'm gonna do my best not to make this video too long, but I was actually just live streaming with a bunch of you guys, and I got a lot of comments on people asking here or there. I get a lot of hate on my car, and actually I've seen people talk shit about you on pages of cars and stuff, saying that like you don't build your cars the right way or X, Y, and Z. I wanted to bring this up. I wanted to do a hopefully three to four minute video, if I don't ramble too long, of this whole topic and the car scene in general. If you haven't noticed by now, the car community is one of the most judgmental places you can ever put yourself in. Also, throughout this video, you're gonna hear Calvin make a noise and cut shit in the back, but just ignore that. I'm gonna talk about some things. Oh, let, me, let me clean you guys off here. One of the biggest things that I have noticed in the car community, comment down below if you have seen this yourself. A lot of times, I see people who buy expensive parts. Let's say HRDs, for example, or the most expensive version of a certain part. Oftentimes, you see those types of people get really entitled and feel entitled because they bought the most expensive part and they will talk shit or look down upon anyone else who doesn't buy anything that is just expensive or just as nice as them. They're considered lesser or ricers or garbage, whatever works for you. And just starting on this topic, who the fuck cares? Build the car however you fucking want. You can use a single sheet of carbon fiber hood or you can get multiple sheets of carbon fiber hoods, fucking rep wheels, you can get a fucking rep kit, you can get an authentic kit, you, you can do whatever the fuck you want because it's your build. Oh, he didn't do this, he didn't do that. Who the fuck cares, guys? Build the car the way you want. I think that in the car community, there's like this standard that like if you don't go the normal Instagram famous car account way, like if you don't go the most fucking basic of all basic, let's do, I don't know, pick an awesome platform, let's say Miata, and then throw a very popular wheel on there, I don't know, let's say RPF1s, and make it super wide and go something sick like Toyo R888, put a turbo on your 1.8, like if you go any way off of that track, someone's like, oh, you're a racer, or you should have done it this way, or you shouldn't put a wing on that car, that looks shitty. like. There's people out there who build their cars for Instagram. When I say that, I mean like, hey, that's perfectly fine. Like, you can do you. Like, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a fuck. You know, but I think certain people build their cars with this, like, pressure of, I can't break the mold of what most people do. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, you have probably seen that we build the cars however we personally want. For example, Calvin has a Tron BRZ. Do I like that shit? Fuck no, but I know he loves it and that's awesome. So Calvin, you do whatever the fuck you want. I like that, I appreciate that. We have me, I like the fucking purple looks, I went purple. Everyone does their own thing. And I think the most important thing, at least for us, what we stand for is, who cares what you do to the car, how you do to the car, or how long it takes you, or whatever the way you do it. As long as, as you're doing it, you're having fun, and that's it. At the end of the day, if you're having fun while doing it, then I think you're winning. You know, I don't think you need the most expensive part to have a good time. I don't think you need the most expensive tools to make that shit happen to have a good time. You can go get outside help and have someone pay to do something for you. You don't know how to do it. You don't have the space to it. You don't have the tools to do it. Who the fuck cares? Well, let people talk shit about your build if they are. Let people tease you for this, this, that. At the end of the day, as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. There's a big... The car scene can be a very judgmental place. And it is my goal to slowly, slowly change that and make it a more welcoming and a friendly place. Because I know that if you are in the car community, you know groups out there who fucking look down and talk shit to everyone who isn't them. AKA, they don't have the right look. They don't have the certain parts. They do cheaper parts. We only do expensive parts. You're not part of our club if you don't have expensive parts. Like, man, that's cool and all. You guys can do that, but I hate it when they talk shit to people who don't have those parts. Because they're like, like, what the fuck is this, guys? I think in this day and age, we're all about trying to be peaceful and not hate. And there's so much hate in the world. Why are you fucking hating? Why don't we all be friends? And, and, and be happy and have fun together. I think that's more important. I don't know, I just wanted to make this public service announcement, a little PSA because I think it's necessary. And just a little reminder guys, to stop taking our fucking cars, your cars, so seriously. It's a toy for most of us, unless let's just have fun with our toys. Can, can we do that? I, I hope so. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you agree with what I'm saying, give this video a fat thumbs up and comment down below. Support the cause. I will see you next time, bros. Peace out and keep moving forward. I do it for the video. No. Alright, Calvin. No. Imagine I'm memorable. No. Hi! I did. Hey, Calvin. Hey, good. Oh, God. I was kidding, man. Oh. I was kidding. There is no sippy action going on in this car.
I did not have any bloopers for this video because if you couldn't tell, that was 100% one take. I decided on the fly to shoot that and that's what it was. But I do want to ask you guys this. Would you rather have three videos a week being a little bit longer or would you rather have five videos a week or four to five, but man, hopefully five and a little bit shorter? Let me know down in the comments down below and you can help decide the future of this channel.